Last month, Finland and the European Union, on request by government, donated personal protective equipment and other medical supplies. The donation included more than 2 million face masks, 200,000 protective visors, 189,000 swabs, 100,000 syringes, as well as medical gowns. So really thank you very much and the projects that we are working on will be continued. Uh, we're going to have another successor. You know, we'll give it a good person. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have another good one. That's how it goes on a few people to come and go, we are to say forever. The donation of medical equipment is one but many of the areas of assistance that Namibian and Finnish relations are active in. The persistent scourge of gender-based violence is another. Through its Fund for Local Cooperation, the Finnish mission in Ventuk has been working with non-governmental organizations to promote the rights of women and girls. So, you know, before the COVID, we were able to open the call for new proposals. But then when Corona started, we had very much difficulties, you know, get all the agreements signed and so on. But, you know, today the news are good because we have new partners, NGOs with whom we are working. And this year we were, we were able to open again a call. And the uh, theme and subject of this, today, uh, this year's call was gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. So we have now two new, two new uh, NGOs with whom we are work, uh, working on that topic. But, you know, I must say that it has been slower than normal. But we have been able to, you know, make some progress as well. Like many others, a number of projects between the two countries have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Finnish diplomat, however, says her successor will continue the work in line with the national health measures. Blanche Corre says NBC News, State House.